Okay, it is just about 5.45. Uh, we'd like to turn this public hearing over to our project team at the Venetian Center to begin the presentation. As a reminder, this public hearing is being recorded. Welcome to the public hearing for the access management and safety improvements along US 441 in Leesburg. My name is Sam Jumber. I'm the FDOT uh, project manager for this project. This hearing is focusing on the US 441 from Griffin Road to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. The financial project identification number for this project is 4435461. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the opportunity to understand the US 441 Access Management Design Project and to share their comments with the Florida Department of Transportation. The feedback and public input received will be included in the public hearing record. In addition, a video recording is being made of these proceedings. The submitted comments, the video, and the handouts will be available for review by October 16th, 2020 on cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443546-1. From 5.30 p.m. to 5.40 p.m., you had an opportunity to get settled in, whether logging in, calling in, or attending in person. The public hearing will consist of a project presentation followed by a public testimony. Carolyn Fitzwilliam, our virtual host, will review the legal requirements associated with this public hearing. The Florida Department of Transportation has complied with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act and related amendments. The hearing and project are being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns related to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI coordinator, or Jacqueline Paramore, our statewide District um, 5 or 6 coordinator. Um, both can be reached at the contact information shown here. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedures and in a prompt and courteous manner. The hearing is being held to afford persons the opportunity to express their views relative to the US 441 access management improvements in accordance with related Florida statutes and federal legislation. This public hearing was advertised by using several techniques that included emails to elected and appointed officials and agency partners, letters mailed to property owners and businesses within at least 300 feet of the project's right-of-way, advertisements in the Lake Sentinel and the Florida Administrative Register, notices posted on the FDOT websites, and a news release emailed to local media outlets. Diana Gibson, the project consultant, will now review the proposed design concept for US 441. This design project is located within the city of Leesburg in Lake County, Florida, beginning at Griffin Road and ending at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Today, US 441 is a seven lane roadway with six travel lanes plus a center two way continuous left turn lane. For this stretch of US 441, there are four traffic signals which are located at Griffin Road, the Bell Shopping Center, Pixiola Road, and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. US 441 also serves as an evacuation route. There are two school crossing guards at Griffin Road US 441 intersection for students attending nearby Beverly Shores Elementary School to the east and Carver Middle School to the west. There is one school bus stop on US 441 just north of Key Scale Ford. Lake Express Route 1A has 12 bus stops along US 441, six northbound and six southbound. Currently, this part of US 441 has a total of six travel lanes, three in each direction. Each lane is 11 feet wide. In the middle, 
there is a two-way continuous left turn lane, which is 11 feet wide. The sidewalks are each five feet wide. While there are no bicycle lanes on this segment of US 441, cyclists may use nearby alternate facilities. The need for this design project was identified in the access management study completed in June 2018. From 2011 through 2015, there were 384 crashes on this section of US 441, accounting for 151 injuries and five fatalities. Based on these findings, the study recommended that access management and safety improvements are needed on US 441 by replacing the center two-way continuous left turn lane with a raised median. Access management is the careful planning of the location, design, and operations of driveways, median openings, interchanges, and street connections. The intent is to separate conflict points by providing a reasonable distance between driveways and between median openings. Conflict points are places where two vehicles could legally cross paths and potentially collide. A key component of access management is to reduce the number of potential conflict points. For example, a four-leg intersection shown on the left has 18 crossing or left turn conflict points. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. A two-way directional median shown on the right reduces the crossing conflict points to four. Spacing of median openings is based on characteristics of the road specific roadway. In this case, on US 441, there will be 1,320 feet between full median openings and 660 feet between directional median openings. Let's review the proposed roadway features or typical section for US 441 from Griffin Road to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. The existing two-way continuous left turn lane in the middle of the roadway is 11 feet wide and will be replaced with a 13 foot raised median. The new median will have full or directional openings. There will continue to be six travel lanes in each direction the middle and outside lanes will be 11 feet wide as they are today. The inside lanes in each direction will be 10 feet wide. There will continue to be a five foot wide sidewalk on each side of the road. Using this new typical section, here are the proposed access and safety changes along US 441. The project begins at the intersection at Griffin Road, which will continue to have a traffic signal. Today, there's a full median opening at Griffin Road, and that will continue to be there. The raised median will begin north of this intersection at Ramshackle Cafe. The directional median opening at the Chevron Driveway will allow left turns if you are traveling north of US 441. The other directional median will allow left turns from southbound US 441 onto North Shore Drive. As you travel north along US 441 and you want to make a left turn onto Akron Road, you will need to go past this intersection and make a U-turn at the traffic signal at Rural King at the, and the Bells Shopping Center, which will continue to have a signal. A directional median opening will be at Tally Road. You will be able to make all turning movements with one exception. To go north on US 441 from Tally Road, you will need to go south on US 441 and make a U-turn at the Rural King traffic signal. In addition, you will be able to only make right turns in and out of the Lake County Tax Collector's Office and at Georgia Avenue. 
Several safety improvements are proposed at the intersection with Pixiola Road. The right turn lane on US 441 will be reconfigured to slow down drivers as they make a right turn onto Pixiola Road. A crosswalk will be added along the southern leg of the intersection. All four strain poles will be replaced and new pedestrian signals will be added. All turning movements that can be done today will continue to be allowed once the improvements are in place. North of Pixiola Road, directional median openings will be at Eureka Avenue and Indian Trail. A full median opening will be at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, which will continue to have a signal. The driveways for the area businesses, including Aldi Shopping Center, will be right in and right out only. All of these improvements will be available to review as one file on cflroads.com by October 16th. The proposed design solutions have also been reviewed with local stakeholders during two agency coordination meetings. Sam Jumber will now review the next steps. Thank you. This design project will be completed by spring 2021 with the construction expected to begin in the fall of 2021. No additional right of way will be needed for the proposed improvements. This hearing presentation, along with the comment form and other project files, may be viewed by visiting the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443546-1. Um, by October 16th, you'll find a video of this hearing along with P PDF formats of the following. The presentation slides and script, um, only the presentation slides, the public hearing handout, which has a typical section and the design comment, known as the role plot and the comment form. If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, you may contact me, Sam Jumber, the FDOT project manager by phone at 386-943-5244 or by my email at samuel.jumber, J-U-M-B-E-R at dot.state. .fl.us. FDOT values your input, and there are several ways you may share your comments with the project team. Please note that we're here to listen to your comments and questions. We will be responding to all submitted questions and comments in writing after the hearing. If you're attending tonight's hearing online, you may submit a written comment by using the questions tab on the control panel. The questions box is on the right side of the screen. Just click on the tab and you can type inside the box. Please note that the audience will not be able to see what you have typed in. However, any written comments or questions provided will become part of the public hearing record. If you wish to make a verbal statement, click on the questions tab and type in your name followed by, I want to speak, when it's your turn to speak, the host will unmute your microphone first, and then you will need to unmute your microphone before you begin to speak. Tonight, if you're participating in person, you may share your comments two different ways, by submitting a completed comment form and placing it in the comments box before you leave, or verbally during the public testimony period. If you wish to speak, please be sure to check that box on the signing card at your seat and turn it in to the venue host during the break. There are several opportunities for you to share your comments with the project team after the public hearing. You may complete a comment form and mail it or email it to me, Sam Jumber, and send the email to me or mail a written statement to me. Also, while visiting the project website, cforoads.com forward slash project forward slash 44346-1, you may submit your written comments or questions. 
FDOT welcomes comments throughout the project. All comments postmarked, emailed by, or emailed by October 27th, 2020 will become part of the official public hearing record for this project. Remember, all comments matter reg regardless of when, regardless of submitted format. We will now take a short break before we begin the public testimony portion of this hearing. Online participants who would like to speak and have not signed up, please do so by going to the questions tab and type in your name followed by I want to speak. If you want to make a verbal statement in person, please make that note on the sign-in card at your seat and hand it to, the, to a project team member. While we're getting folks registered to speak during the public testimony portion, if you are joining us online and you do not have a microphone or capability to make a verbal comment um, and do not wish to type your comment in the question pane, please feel free to contact Mr. Jumber after this hearing. Again, his email address is samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us and his phone number is 386-943-5244. Again, that is 386-943-5244. It is now 6.02 p.m. and we are beginning the public testimony portion of the hearing. This is when the project team listens to your statements and comments about the US 441 design project. We will be responding to all submitted questions and comments in writing after the public hearing. We will begin with the individuals who are attending in the hearing in person. Laura here, um, have you received any requests? Yes, we've received requests from two individuals to speak. We'll begin with Gary uh, Blanchard, followed by Harriet Scales. Mr. Blanchard, if you want to come up, and as I call your name, please come to the microphone right here. Before you share your comments, please be sure to state your name and address. And be sure to speak into the microphone so that your comments can be picked up in the video recording. You will have three minutes to make your statement as we. And as we follow social distancing guidelines, please wait to approach the microphone until the previous speaker has returned to his seat. Thank you, Mr. Blanchard. Okay, Gary Blanchard, 2010 Otter Spine Road, Fruitland Park, Florida, 34731. More of an educational question, not, uh, not that I have an ax to grind, just trying to learn. The, the traffic separator, as you have noted here, that is currently what we see out there today with the yellow. Um, ink or paint on the pavement. It's not a raised thing, right? Traffic separator? It's raised. It is raised. Yes. Uh, then you have raised median also. Correct. Yes. Okay. So the accidents that were reported in your statistics, did many of them happen in the existing traffic lanes that are there, the medians that are divided? There is no raised bumps. Do you know? Uh, that's something we can provide you a written statement after the hearing and have our own individuals look at that 
that okay. are familiar with the you know crash data. Okay, because um, my, my input is simple that if you don't have the bump, the raised, um, if you don't have the raised device um, and you have the traffic separator, the paint on the pavement, people can pull into those and make turns if it's not causing a lot of accidents and not spend the money putting in the raised uh, medians and having businesses having more equal access up and down that road. Um, that's just my comment on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Blanchard. And now Harriet Scales, if you'd like to share your comment. And, and please be sure to state your name in the room. My name is Harriet Scales, and the address is 1719 Citrus Boulevard, Leesburg, Florida. It is Key Scales for not scale, um, which is what we put on the video that we just watched. Uh, the business has been there for over 60 years and we do not have a for the traffic coming from the south a direct way into our service lane or into our building we would have our customers would have to go up to tally road go down the road and then turn and then swing around the big building to get to our service um, drive I would like to know why we cannot have one of these little tiny cuts where you have cars that are gonna be turning into Tally Road, why we can't just have one little turn in to go into our main drive and then have a sign there that says you cannot come across and go turn left out of there. It seems only fair since we've been in business, really one of the oldest businesses on this road. That's my question, and I want an answer to that, please. Okay, we'll, we'll be providing an answer to you, a written one out. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody else here at the Venetian Center like to speak and make a statement here tonight? Okay. Sam, over to you then. Okay. We will now go to those participating online. Carolyn, have you received any online requests to speak? I have not received any requests to speak at this time. Again, if you are attending online and would like to make a verbal comment, please um, let me know by typing that into the question pane in your toolbox. Carolyn, do you want to wait a little bit longer or you want me to close? I am not seeing anyone that's requesting to speak at this time. Okay. We are now closing the public testimony portion of the public hearing. Thank you for sharing your comments with us. It is now 6.08 PM and the US 441 Access Management Public Hearing is now closed. Thank you and have a good evening. And just a re quick reminder before we close for those attending online and in person, um, a recording of this public hearing will be available on our website, www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443546-1. Um, if you would like to send a comment directly to Mr. Jumber, um, you may call him at 386-943-5244 or email him at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us. Again, we very much thank you for your participation. I will leave the webinar up for just a minute or two in case anyone else would like to submit a comment through the question pane. 